to know Jesus. Philippians 3.10 says that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. How can I know? I know him, Jesus. Three things you need to know. One, God loves us, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3, 16. Two, sin, rebellion toward God, entered into mankind through Adam and Eve and therefore cause a separation between all of us and the God who made us. The fall of man is shown in Genesis 3, 1 through 6. Romans 3, 23 says, For all have sinned. Jesus Christ is God's only provision for our sins and the way to relationship with God. The work of the Lord Jesus Christ is that he willingly died on the cross and shed his blood as payment for our sin. He came back to life again and lives forevermore. Jesus Christ said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by and through me. John 14, 6. One thing you need to do. Receive Jesus Christ as Savior. Admit that you are a sinner and that you desire to turn from your sin. Repent. Believe that Jesus Christ died for your sin and that you must receive him through faith. Call on God in prayer, receiving Him by faith. But to as many as did receive and welcome Him, He gave them the authority, the power, the privilege, the right to become the children of God, that is, to those who believe and in His name. Have you ever accepted his gift of salvation? Do you know that you're heaven bound? Will you make sure right now? Here's a suggested prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, I admit that I'm a sinner and that I want to turn from my sins. I believe that you are the son of God who died for my sins and that you are the one who can forgive me and take away my sins. I now receive you as my personal Savior. Amen. Tell someone the good news. Contact us at Raising Dreamers Ministries, a Christ-centered women's ministry grounded in the Bible and dedicated to nurturing, encouraging, and equipping women who dream of being used to reach their world with the good news of Jesus.